it's Nate and check out my orange pants so welcome to my bonus midweek special I hope you guys enjoy this I just wanted to give you guys a rundown on something all of you guys have been asking well actually I think like three of you but that's basically why I shoot film and I know it comes off as something a little Ooh, pa hipster naman tong guy na to. Sobrang pretentious niya. And I do admit, I did get into film photography just because I wanted to look cool. But now I really do love it for real reasons. And these are three reasons why. Number one, I learned so much. Because when you're with a film camera. Wait, let me get my camera. That's an original lens cap, guys. Anyway, when you're working with a film camera, everything that you do on this camera is manually controlled. So you have options here to choose your shutter speed, to choose your aperture. The camera will not do that for you. There were cameras that were made in later years that did things automatically for you. But this camera forces me to think about the settings that I use. Not only because it's old and it doesn't have an automatic mode, but because I only have 36 shots on this camera. 36. And if I make a mistake, you know, Sayang film yun. So I learned a whole lot about ISO, about aperture, about shutter speed, about composition, and how to crouch down a little bit. Or... And to make matters worse, this is not even a zoom lens. Like, you're stuck with one focal length here. You can't zoom in by doing anything with the camera. You just, you just look at it, and then if you want to get closer, you really actually have to physically get closer. Number two, shooting film is cheap-ish. Let me explain. This camera, made in 1969, I think. Let me check my video. Actually, a camera made in what, the 1970s? 1969. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> Even if this camera was made in 1969, it can shoot photos just as good as any consumer touchscreen um, point and shoot or even DSLR camera made today. Why? These film cameras made back in the day were built to last a lifetime. Cameras nowadays are built to last you like three, five years and then you're gonna have to replace it and buy a new one. This one, 1969, it still works perfectly until today. So the quality of materials used for the lens, you know, and even the quality of film itself which people think is super outdated but can take really good photos. You know, you combine those two and you get still pretty good images. Follow me on Instagram, you'll see what I'm talking about. So the point is, given this camera which I bought for 2,000 pesos, around 2,000 pesos, you compare that with the price of the Canon EOS M... Wait, sorry Janina, wait, you, you, you had a commercial about this. M10! M10. Yeah, here, look at this. That's the M10, that's what I'm sure. Ooh, Inception! It's, it's reflecting onto the reflection, which is reflecting the reflection of the reflection. And comparing this camera to like professional grade cameras, you can still achieve really nice. You can still achieve really. You can still achieve. Re, you can still achieve really good quality photos with a cheap camera. It's just the ish part. It kind of costs you to buy film, but you know. Never mind. Number two, because it takes nice photos. And number three, which I think is the most important, shooting film teaches you how to see the thrilling in the boring. Having only 36 shots, I have to slow down and carefully think about each shot. And walking down the same streets every day, you know, I have to look for nice things where before I would just see mundane, ordinary things. And shooting film taught me how to see beauty in the boring and i think that's really cool because when i'm walking through life on an ordinary day i feel like oh it's just another school day oh it's just another day with my friends or whatever but then i look a little closer and i realize hey you know that's a nice thing to take a picture of that's a nice scene you know that's good lighting this is a good moment that i want to remember with my friends and with my family and shooting film taught me how to look at an ordinary completely normal day and see it as extraordinary, as a thrilling adventure. Film is one of the things that helped me see that carpe diem. So, in light of that, as I'm sure you have read in the title, this is my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. What? A giveaway? I can't believe you. 
No, seriously, thank you guys. You are all super special to me. Thank you for your support. I think right now as I'm filming that, I think right now as I'm shooting this, I'm about 12K. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys. And as we continue to make this channel grow, I want to personally give you guys a hand-picked gift. So I went to one of my favorite thrift stores, which sells film cameras. Hey, I just got here. Uh, I'm with my dad. Hello, dad. Hello. Uh, yeah, we're, let's buy some cameras. And I got you these goodies. Out of my pocket, guys. <laughs> Wala pa sponsorships, endorsements, or whatever. This is just out of the sheer love of my heart. Thank you, everybody. This right here is a Rico point and shoot. Focus on it. This is super cool because it pops out like that, and then you can choose your ISO like that. And the viewfinder is nice and large here. And there's a flash. And the flash works it takes in two double a batteries which are very easy to find so actually you know what i'll give you the camera with batteries because i love you so much so you just pull on this tab right here and boop, it opens and you can put in film i'll give you film also with this camera actually all the cameras i'll give film with it next we have the most cyborg futuristic looking one of them all it looks like a character from tron or something like that it's a canon it's a canon autoboy light so it does the same thing actually, you just pull on the switch and whoa. the batteries are two triple A and then you just open you just open this thing and BAM. I was talking for like five minutes and it was not recording at all. Anyway. And last but not the least, the third winner is going to get this Fuji point and shoot, which is really cool because I could just play with this all day. <laughs> the flash on this works too. Uh, the flash on all the cameras work. But this one requires a battery that you can't find in your ordinary Ace hardware. You're gonna have to go to a photo line or a photo store. Let me. It's called a CR123A lithium battery. But I'm gonna give one with the battery, don't you worry. So there, if you guys want to win one of these awesome film cameras with film, with batteries, then all you have to do is subscribe to me, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and post what is your one passion project for the year. Mine is film photography. You guys don't have to copy me and put film photography also just so that you can win a film camera. I just want to see that you guys are also passionate about something. Oh yeah, my other passion project is YouTube. You guys. I worked hard on these guys and I picked them out especially for you guys out of all of the choices these are what i picked for you so so feel special huh again i cross check these things so you gotta subscribe you gotta follow me on twitter you gotta follow me on instagram the links are all down below uh if you want you can follow me on snapchat but i'm not gonna cross check that anymore and then you post on instagram with the hashtags funmily and i'm still thinking Family and nate's 10k giveaway i think that's a nice hashtag post a picture of what your passion project is for the year. I would love to see what it is. I'm gonna choose three random winners that I like. So it's not completely random, but it's gonna be like chosen at random and then I'm gonna choose it. And then if it's a nice one, then just, just, just post something nice that people are gonna wanna read and be inspired by because that's really what this channel is all about in the end. It's more than just about being funny. I want to be able to inspire you guys even just a little bit. So don't forget to like this video. Like it, comment, subscribe it, share it, favor it, follow your passion projects, keep that fire, and let's seize the Carpe Diem together. Yeah! Ma, was that good enough?